do my gel nails with me. When the pandemic started, I started doing my own gel nails because obviously people couldn't go anywhere. I'm asthmatic, I was immunocompromised. So I got really good at doing my own nails. And then in the past year, I started going to nail salons again because I wanted to make sure that I had really like solid, hard acrylics for my wedding. Uh, but my wedding is done now and I'm not trying to spend money on getting my nails done when I can do them myself. I am an Apray Gel X girly. I love these. I have all of the tools already, so I just thought it would be fun to sit down and show you guys how I do my nails. I haven't done them in a little while, but we are going to do, I think, like a cherry glazed donut kind of nail. I'm really enjoying the dark fall colors. I'm waiting for my bottle of cherry mocha to come in, so that'll probably be what we do next. Next, but I think we're gonna do a little bit more of a brighter red right now with a little bit of a glaze Which is a nice easy design the first thing we're gonna do is actually get rid of these nails And I'm gonna take these off off camera So now that I have gotten all of these fake nails off they were a strut to get off uh, Getting off a prey X is way easier. My next step is getting an audiobook going I'm listening to Midnight Feast by Lucy Foley her books are hit or miss for me, but we'll see if I like this one. So the first thing I like to do before I even prep my nails is pick out my, I like to prep all of my tips before I actually prep everything else. So I tend to just kind of flick through here and figure out which ones fit where. I've done this enough times that I generally know what size each of my nails are. And the ones I'm using today are the natural round medium. I also like the almond shape too. is next. Pairing the tip helps to prevent lifting, which is a big problem that my nails have. Then while that dries, I'm going to dehydrate and prep my natural nail. Next up, I'm gonna do a layer of nail glue, a thin layer, and I'm gonna flash kind of like half cure it on one nail, and then we're gonna flash cure each nail.
give you my glazed donut nails. They're the red version of glazed donut. These shimmers can be a little finicky sometimes, but I didn't want anything too dramatic, just a little bit of a reflect. I'm going to put on my homemade cuticle oil now. Uh, I can make a video about the recipe, but it's really just like a hodgepodge of a bunch of oils. And I will do another video like this the next time I do my nails. It should be a smoother process next time because I definitely had to deal with some of the... Whoa. I definitely had to deal with some of the struggles that you deal with when you haven't done your nails in a while, but I think these look really cute. Okay, I'm gonna go by.